All right, man, Pulse TV. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pulse TV back with another one, man. Today we got something quick and simple. Getting straight to the point. Getting straight to it. Today we on Foxy. And I lost the keys to it, man. So I bought another uh, ignition switch for it. Y'all already know. I'm going to link it down there for you just in case you lost your keys. I lost my keys, so we're going to figure out how we're going to get this. Uh, how I'm going to get it out. Uh, I ain't sure yet how I'm going to get it out. But let's just hope it just comes out. But uh, anyway, man, we finna get to it. Before I get into the video, though, God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it. All right, man, so we at Foxy, man. Like I said, man, I lost the keys. I don't know if they were the original keys or not, but I lost them. Can't find them. Haven't been able to find them for a good little while now. But here's the uh, new switch. It's black. I don't know why I got black. But anyway, um, got the keys to it. See that part number on here, man. I'm guessing that's the part number. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Let me see if I can get the focus. Hold on. Y'all hold on for me, man. Get this thing to focus in for y'all. But I'm also link it. The Amazon link to it. It's a doorman part. But anyway, man, it was an Amazon. I got it for like 12 or 13 dollars. But anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is get them screws up on the hold on. Let me bring y'all up. Let me bring y'all up. Let me bring y'all up. Hold on. First thing we're gonna do is get them screws up under the bottom. I see some flop body have that little thing up under there, but mine didn't have it. But we got one. I don't know, one or two screws up under there, man. I'm going to get them out of there. And then once we get this plastic cover off right here, I'm going to check back in with y'all. Then you get over here. You pull your little panel off down there, the blue panel. Pull that off. Unplug this. And if you got your key, then you would twist it forward. And then there's a little pin. You would stick something in here to release this thing out of here. But I don't have my key, so... I gotta go through some other measures, so y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all know what I do, what I do to get it out. All right, man, it's super humid out here, man, and um, I got the uh, lock cylinder out, so I'm gonna explain to y'all what I did. Right? As y'all can see, I'm sweating, so I'm gonna tell you it wasn't easy. All right, so if I can find it, oh man, I can't find it. Hold on. All right. I'm going to use the old one. I'm going to use the old one. All right. So, this is what you got, right? So, I broke this top piece off. I just knocked it off with a hammer, right? And what happened was that gave me access to this inner piece. If y'all can see that inner piece moving, right? So, what I then did was took different size drill bits and just drilled into right here where the key go in at. You can't just drill through this, but I just, it's just easier to just knock it off. I just knocked it off. And I didn't drill back too far. I just kind of kept an eye on it, just making sure um, I didn't drill into anything, you know, too far back. I just kind of peeked in there and looked. But yeah, you want to drill all the way back until you've almost hollowed this thing out. Um, let me see. I think I went all the way up to a, Let's see what size is this drill bit. Went all the way up to a 21. I don't even know what size it is, man. It, it messed it up. 21 by something. So, look like 60 something, 64 probably. I don't know, 21 by 64. But I went up to a pretty nice size drill bit. And I just drilled into here where the key goes at. And then you, once you start to see the little gold pieces start to come out, then you'll know you're getting close. But the whole time, you really want to just be trying to see there's some gold pieces back up in there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but once you start to see those gold pieces, what you want to then do is try to get to those gold pieces and start breaking them out of there. Start trying to get them out of there. And then start taking you a fill of, uh, flathead screwdriver and just kind of prying it. And then, you know, just prying this cylinder, you know, in. 
and all you need is just a little bit of uh i mean just a little bit of leverage to push this push that pin in it's a small hole man you got to take a little peek or something um i don't even know what a little pick at i use this little pick once you get it going forward it don't even have to go all the way forward just enough forward and once you do that pull it right out stick that in there pushes that pin in slides right out right so then you take your new one right it has to go back in just like the other one came out so it has to go forward at least not all the way forward but as y'all can see that pin i don't know if y'all can see that pin or not but there's a pin on here that as i turn it the pin locks and goes in different positions so you have to get that pin to a spot push it in boom it comes out all right so mine is in a i think it's in a forward position in a different position man so just get it back in the right position stick it in push the key back it locks and then it's in there plug this up put all your stuff back on you're good to go i'm gonna stick this one in y'all stay tuned we're gonna see if we fixed it or not all right, so man, at this point, you can't mess it up. It only goes in one way, right? And once you put this in here, once you lock that bad boy into place, switch that key back, it will not come out again without that key being in there. So remember to plug this back up. And pretty much it, man. I'm finna put my covers back on and we're finna try to get a start up on this thing. I think my battery dead, so I'm finna go get my jump box. And uh, yeah, we're finna get a start up. We're finna see what we got. We're finna make sure I fixed it. All right, man. Got my little thousand amp Schumacher box. And it won't have any problem cranking this up, man. If y'all want this box, it's a Schumacher. And it got a air pump on the back of it. Pump your tire up and jump you off. So this is a good little tool. It's kind of big, but good tool to have in your car and uh it'll crank up most most of your cars man especially a four cylinder or v8 i mean four cylinder or v6 it'll crank up some of your v8 if the battery isn't completely dead but yeah so y'all can see turn it on see if we get a start up man All right, y'all, hold on. Let me readjust. There we go. Readjust these bad boys. Take two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got that old fox and running, baby. Yes, sir. AC cold on this bad boy. All right, man. Motor run good. No cold to me. Uh, AC works, as y'all can see. I know y'all can hear it clicking on and off. But yeah, AC works, man. Car drives fine, man. I'm getting ready to pull this motor out. So I'm getting ready to do a motor swap on it. Um, I'll be doing details on that in just a minute but yeah man the ignition works perfectly man the ignition works perfectly brother but yeah man all right man so for 12 dollars on amazon like i said I'm gonna, I'm gonna link that ignition switch below uh they did have some chromos on there. i just got a black one uh came with the original ford had the ford branding on the keys and stuff man so they looked they look original uh when i bought this car i only got one key uh one key for the ignition but uh i should have got a copy made and i messed up so pretty much had to pull out a good ignition and uh put a i guess you could say aftermarket but it's a doorman brand so it's kind of like a oem brand 
Uh, like, they're a Ford Motor Company brand, you know. But anyway, works, same quality. I mean, nobody will never know the difference. Um, that's pretty much it, man. So uh, I had to get the car back running because I actually got a motor for it. Um, Y'all might be surprised what I put in here. It's going to be a build. I'm going to build it. I'm going to go back through the motor, rebuild, machine shop. I haven't decided on cubic inches just yet. But we will have, uh, you know, a talk. And I'll let y'all weigh in. Y'all give me y'all thoughts down in the comments. What y'all think I should put in this car? Right now, it's a four-cylinder. Uh, I mean, the car run pretty good. I'm going to pull this motor out here. One more thing. If anybody is interested in buying this four-cylinder, I have no other use for it. Uh, so, if you want to buy it, drop me an offer. I'll probably let it go cheaper than what you think I will. Um... Uh, so, matter of fact, you can get the motor and transmission. Motor and transmission come together. If not, it will be listed for sale. Um, yeah, man, that's it. Got my car back running. It'll sat right here for a while, man. Uh, everything I use in this video is going to be linked in the description, including the camera that I use. Uh, Pulse TV merch going to be coming soon, man. We got to just keep growing. And, yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Pulse TV, gone.